In today's video, I'm here to teach you how you can screen record on your Mac using the internal audio, the microphone, check, check, and also record yourself through the webcam all at the same time. So do not skip this video if you want to record your own tutorial style video or start a YouTube channel with that. This is your one stop solution. Let's go. What's good you guys welcome to my youtube channel my name is Deep and this is where I do a lot of DJing and tech related tutorials tips and tricks to help you become a better DJ and to help you get better at using technology so if you're new here please consider subscribing. So the process that I'm going to show you today is completely free and I'm going to show it to you on a MacBook. But the process is the same on any Mac computer. And if you want me to make a Windows version of this video, please comment in the comment section below and let me know. Now coming back to this video, this video is going to be a three part video and the timestamps for all of that will be in the description below. In part one, let me show you how to record your screen on a Mac for free. This process is extremely simple all thanks to the QuickTime Player application which is already installed on the Mac. So just go ahead and open QuickTime Player and you can see on the top left corner you have this menu here. Just click on file and select new screen recording. This little window will open up and to record your screen all you need to do is click on this red dot here and that will start the screen recording. But before you do that, you can also see that there is a small down arrow here and this is where you can select the audio source. I have a lot of options here, but by default, you can only see none and internal microphone. So if you just want to record audio from your built-in mic, you are good to go. Just select the internal mic option here and hit record. That will record your screen and your mic both at the same time. To stop the recording, just click on the stop icon here on the top and that will stop the recording and save the file on your desktop. However, this process will not record the internal audio and that's gonna be in part two. So part two is recording your internal audio while screen recording. The first step that we need to do to record the internal audio while screen recording is to download this free plugin called Black Hole. To download Black Hole, simply click on the link in the description and that will take you to this site here. Just fill in your information and they will send you a download link via email. Click on the link which you get in the email and download the free plugin. Once downloaded, go ahead and install the software. Installing is quite straightforward, just follow the on-screen instructions and you are good to go. Once done, restart your computer and open the Audio MIDI setup application on the laptop. This application will open up and this is where you need to pay attention. Just follow these instructions step by step and you should have no problems whatsoever. We are going to do two things here. First thing you want to do is create an input channel. To do this, simply click on this plus icon here and click on create aggregate device. Rename it and call it QuickTime Player Input so you know what this is. Once you rename it, go ahead and check these two options here. Built-in microphone and black hole 16 channel. Make sure you follow this order here. Built-in mic on the top and black hole is below that. Do not check anything else here. And also make sure that your clock source is set to black hole 16 channel. And that's it. Your input channel is now ready and this is the input channel that you will be using in the QuickTime player to record the audio. Now that we're done with creating the input channel, the second thing that you want to do is create an output channel. To do this, simply click on the plus icon here again and this time click on create a multi output device. Rename it and call it screen record with audio. Once you rename it, go ahead and check these two options here, built in output and black hole 16 channel. Again, make sure that you follow this order here, built in output on the top and black hole is right below that. This is what a lot of people get wrong. If you don't do this the right way, you will not hear any audio out of your laptop. Also make sure that the clock source is set to built in output and that's it. Now your output channel is also ready. Now that this is done, you can close this window and forget about it. But before you start recording, you will have to change your output source so you can hear the audio as you record. To do this, you will have to open your system preferences and click on sound. 
and under the output tab, you will see that the internal audio is selected by default. But you will have to select the screen record with audio option. That's the output channel we just created. And that's it, you are good to go. But once you're done recording, please remember this and make sure you switch this back to internal speakers or headphones. This will allow you to change your volume, etc. and get it back to default settings. Now let me show you how to record your screen with internal audio and the mic all at the same time. To do this, follow the same process as part 1. Open QuickTime Player and click New Screen Recording. And when this box opens up, you will have to click on this arrow here to select your audio input source. Select the option we created earlier, which is QuickTime Player Input. And just to remind you, make sure your output in the system preferences is set to screen record with audio. And that's it. All you need to do now is hit the record button and that will record your screen along with your mic and the audio coming out of iTunes or YouTube or any internal software. Here's an example of that. Testing the mic. This is a mic test. Nice. Now just in case you don't want to record your mic and you only want to record the internal audio, all you need to do is go to the system preferences, click on input and bring your mic volume down to zero. And that will mute your mic altogether. Don't forget to change these settings back to normal once you're done. And that's it. Now you've learned how to record your screen, record your internal audio and the mic. But what about recording yourself through the webcam? That actually is a very simple hack. Now let me show you how to do that. Part 3 is how to record yourself through the webcam while screen recording. To do this, you will again use the QuickTime player, but this time before you click on screen record, you will click on the new movie recording option and that will activate your webcam. Now all you need to do is resize it and place it anywhere on the screen where you prefer. Once done, just let it be and do not hit record or anything. This window will just remain here as you record your screen. And to make sure that this is always on the top, all you need to do is click on the view option on the top left and select the option float on top. And that will make sure that it always remains on the top of any window. From here, the process is the same as before. Go to the file, click new screen recording and then select your desired audio option and then start recording the screen. And because it's recording everything that's on the screen, it also records the webcam feed at the same time. Now you basically have a complete setup where you can start your own YouTube channel in which you can teach people how to use a certain application on the computer or how to do a few things on the computer, etc. And you can do this all in one computer and that too for free. Now, a lot of times you actually tend to forget these steps when you actually sit and start recording. So I strongly recommend that you save this video somewhere so that you can always come back and watch it and follow these steps correctly. And you will always have the right settings on your computer. So there you have it, guys. I hope that you guys enjoyed watching this video today and that you guys got to learn something new. If you guys did, please don't forget to hit that like button and share this video with your friends. And while you're at it, it will be nice if you can also hit that subscribe button and click on that bell icon to get notified every time I upload a new video. That's been it. My name is Deep and I will see you guys in the next one. Happy to help.